How do you convince a French to eat something when they don't want to eat it? Just give them bread. <laughs> she has some bread here on the side. Oh my god. It's a real experience for me, I have to say. Like, oh my god. Bonjour from Fecum, France. Today I'm going to be trying a French delicacy known as escargots. These are snails. It is a delicacy here that people usually eat in au reservoir. And we're going to go ahead and try these out. I'm here in Epperville at La Ferme aux Escargots, the farm where they prepare the snails. Check out the surroundings. <laughs> you can't see them, but we got some cows back there. We have a horse home over here. We have Stofinator over there. This is, this is actually the home of the person here that raises the snails. And well, he's allowing me to come here and show you the preparation of Les Escargos. Everything is back there in that little home, so let's go check it out. Oh wow, he's coming back. He's, he's full of energy. Sofinator scared of the dog. Okay. He's a crazy dog. And this is Romain. This is his home and your farm over here, right? Yes, right. Please, right. All right, thank you so much for You're letting me see the farm. And what's over there? A uh, barn. A Actually, barn? I will use it for the storage and okay. there is a lot of stuff to store. And very beautiful garden, by the way. Thank you. I spend a lot of time in it. There will be... The and the dog is coming. And the dog is coming. <laughs> <laughs> he won't stop. They take a long time to breed or...? Yeah. <laughs> so everything is slow for the no. snails. The breeding is very slow. The breeding yeah. takes takes between 12 and 14 and um, 24 hours. So, you know, I'm very curious because snails are hermaphrodites, right? Yes, so right. So they, they yeah, have yeah. both a, a vagina and a penis. So uh, uh, how, they, how... they have more a penis than a vagina. Uh -huh. um, they, they produce a limestone penis. It's yeah, and then weird. it breaks off or something, and right? It breaks <laughs> after yes, they're right. done. They, they build it for the breeding. They, they plunge it into the other one. Yeah, and <laughs> and, this. and they exchange uh, the spermatozoons. Yeah. Okay. And since they are hermaphrodites, uh, they switch to female. Yeah. Produces they produce eggs, and breed the eggs with the spermatozoons to produce babies. Right. So, I mean, when you're a snail and you move, you're one of the slowest animals on earth. I think that's just the evolutionary adaptation that they have in order to, to live. Because imagine, like, you, you spend your whole life, you might only find one snail in your whole life. So, what if that <laughs> other snail is not the opposite sex? You're screwed, basically. So, that really helps them out, I think. Actually, the snails are very fast. They're they, very fast. They, they go at five Like, meters. faster than Mbappe? Ah, uh, <laughs> not yet, not yet. But they are training a lot. They're uh, training. They, they, they move at five meters per hour. Five so meters, so it's like lot. from here to maybe... To, yes, to here. Yeah, okay, it's not... One hour, <laughs> about. All right, they're making progress. Yes, yes, right. And it's very fast, so when you have a... A leak a breach into your fence uh -huh. they leave very very fast also oh, this has to be super sealed yes so I they don't show escape. you uh, later on all right uh, but yes I, I there is an electrical fence small voltage but uh, also you have an electrical yeah. like <laughs> like in Jurassic Park for the velociraptors oh my god we have an electric fence for the snails guys Let us go. Go. But, but kind of. <laughs> all right and this is somebody else's farm here? Oh, everything uh, in Normandy is just so green and yeah, it looks so beautiful. The, the rain did a lot of good to, to, the, to the greens and to the potatoes. Yeah. Right oh, these are potatoes. Yes, Pomme de terre. Pomme de terre. Right. Okay. <laughs> but it's not mine. <laughs> yeah. So you see here, everywhere around the greenhouse, there is this, this electrical fence. And when the snails touch, two uh, wires yes there is an electrical uh, shock shock yes but it's a very soft electrical shock but i'm curious because they they move slow so if they touch the electricity touch, let, how long does it let take me, them to move away from the electricity show it. oh wow uh, they're gonna see electric chair for snails <laughs> i don't know i think animal rights people are gonna attack this video if we start electrocuting the snails and so the name for this is what? Heli, heliciculture? Heliciculture. Heliciculture. In okay. French. In yeah. French. Yeah. Yeah. Same in English. Helis, heliciculture. Oh, yeah, right. I was not aware of it. So. <laughs> By the way, you speak very good English. Thank like, you. Amazing, man. <laughs> Thank you. And so I heard you can snails. Can see the tentacle? Yeah, yeah. The, well, they, they're almost blind. 
and they, they cannot hear. They, they cannot hear and they can see light or dark, but any, anything else... Uh, they, cannot they cannot differentiate. No, no. So I will take him and put it onto the electrical fence. It won't hurt him, it won't kill him. It okay. will say him, don't go, clo don't go back further, off, like. back off. Yes. Okay. It's only a fence. Huh? All right, snail torture 101. <laughs> So, grab him and put him onto. And you oh. see, it's very fast. Oh, right away he's like, oh, mm -hmm. I don't like this. And you can put your finger into your mouse and touch the two fence, to the two electrical fence. It's very, very so the two ones. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, it's very, very soft. It's tickling. Yeah, it's like. You see, it's not that much. It's just like. Yeah. You, you just Barely say the it. snail don't go for them. It's yeah, not for like hurting them. So how, about how many snails do you have here? Here, about uh, 140,000. 140,000? Yes, about. About, <laughs> rough I estimate. Don't them. <laughs> oh, wow, there there's is, like. There is a lot of them. An Since army. they are nocturnal, during the daytime, they will hide for, for the light. Okay, so you're there protected. And this yeah. is water? Water, yes. Okay. I water. I, um, Water moisture them every every evening. And what do they eat? What you can see here, I yeah, I've prepared you one one bowl of uh, of what they eat. It's uh, flour, corn, uh, wheat, wheat, okay, and uh, limestone. Oh, they eat limestone yes. as well. Because they produce the shells with yeah. limestone, so they need they limestone need that in to their produce diet. The shell, to build the shells. Okay. Okay. So and the, there's a dog, the dog running. is not stopping. <laughs> right. Oh, it's under here. Oh, oh yes, right, okay, perfect. Oh. So you have to be very careful. C'est très gros. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that one's giant. So this one is an adult. He won't grow anymore. Yeah, it's coming oh. out like mm -hmm. an alien. These are snail sex. Mm -hmm. About uh, 200 of them. 200? Uh, 2,000, sorry. <laughs> there is 2,000. 2,000. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A, snail, a snail will lay... A hundred eggs. And you have 140,000 here, and each one is capable of laying eggs. That's a lot of eggs. hundred eggs. Coming out. Oh yeah, here's a little tiny mm -hmm. one. So they're born with a shell. They bo they're born with the shell. And the shell grows with them. Yes. Unlike they crabs. They build the shell. They, they, built it. they build the shell. You can do it like this, and you, you will feel it. Your skin will become softer. Also, oh, like a good lotion? It's a good lotion. <laughs> it's used for the cosmetics. And they use the, the slime for cosmetics and L'Oreal Paris. Excuse me? L'Oreal? L'Oreal, uh, almost, gonna, yeah. I was gonna say the and same. And they use it to reduce the, re the wrinkles? wrinkles. Yes. Mm. Also, you can grab like snails at night and like. Yeah, you can. Yeah, actually, <laughs> and be younger. I'm ex explaining my tour to the tourists. Yeah. I do it like this. Uh -huh. Can you see? I'm not 40. Okay. <laughs> Oh, because so you're 40? You're 40? Almost, yes. Right? <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I wouldn't have believed it. It works! works. <laughs> it's, the snails. it's the snails that keep wow. me younger. It's insane. So, but it's very yeah, but expensive. I thought you were like maybe 25. Yeah, me too. No, no, no. I'm yeah. too. I already saw 25. Uh, almost 37. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, it's not the snails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what else do you do? not the snails, but he's, he's creating no, the, a second business yeah, here. Yeah, 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 right. No, they, they, when you sell the, sl the slime, it's very expensive. It's almost 50,000 euros for one kilo of dehydrated uh, slime. slime. No. Yes. How do you collect the slime? Oh, it's very weird. I won't yeah. explain it to you. It's okay. very <laughs> harsh for the for the snail. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's not good. Okay. Up. It's the time we've been waiting for, guys. I'm gonna try the scargles okay, of French so delicacy. He'll tell me much better about it. There is a few products. Uh, I, we will try the easier one first, if okay. you want. So it's beans mixed with garlic, parsley and butter and uh, mixed uh, snails. Okay, so um, haché? Shredded. 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 Mm -hmm. Shredded snails. Shredded so it's snails. very easy to eat because you don't feel the snail and you have the, the smell and the taste of the garlic uh, butter. Okay, the okay. garlic. Yeah, that's a traditional way of cooking them, right? With yeah, like the, the garlic butter. The traditional way of France is uh, garlic, parsley, uh, shallots, and butter. Mm. You know what? Ladies first. No, really? Fans premier. 
Tu n'as jamais mangé des escargots Non, je suis très euh, spéciale euh, nourri ah, nourriture. Sophie <laughs> is being adventurous today. <laughs> Alright, but it smells good, so I'm gonna have to try. So let's go. My face is not gonna be the same as Carlos, I'm sure. Thank it, thank it. it smells good though. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells the garlic and everything. Alright. In one piece or in two pieces? <laughs> I go for it. It's pretty good. I, you don't feel obviously the, the, the snail like like you're eating the animal. Mm. It's tasty. The bread is so well done cooked. I love this. <laughs> I love how it cooks. Uh, the is. French <laughs> loving the bread. What a surprise. <laughs> YOLO. Mm. It's good, you know. Oh, hello, buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't really, you don't really taste the the snail that much. It's like a like a, a, a cream thing almost. It's almost mm. like a little topping you just put on the bread, mm. and it goes really well with it. And yeah, I agree with what Sophie said. The bread is nice and crispy. Mm. This is like the tradition in France is hors d'oeuvre, which is like a, an appetizer, and it's usually how you have these escargots. So this right here will be served on the table, and the people will just dig in and. We have some <laughs> cider here from Normandy. So, la tienne. A la tienne. A la tienne. Cheers. A la tienne. Cheers. Guys, um, somebody told me this. In France, when you cheers, you say a la tienne and you need to look the person in the eye. Mm. If not, it's bad sex for the rest of your life. Oh. Seven years. Seven, Seven years? years. Okay. I wasn't That's Might as well be the rest of your life. Like. So make sure you lock in the eye contact. We did. <laughs> Tasty. Yeah, it's a good apple cider. cider. It's homemade uh, apple cider. Homemade. I don't know if you've seen them, but there is a lot of apple trees in the garden in front yep. of the. Mm, when we're right. So you make it yourself? Oh wow! As he made it himself, he just puts it in his own bottle and all homemade. So yeah, all wow. you eat here is homemade. <laughs> Everything is homemade. All right, cool. Healthy. The benefits of being here on the countryside in Normandy. Uh, I forgot one thing. Ooh. So. You oh will my start. God. Those are the biscuits. Mm, the with biscuits small with small snails, ones. Mm. Butter, garlic, and parsley only. Mm. I promise you, the snails are very soft. It's not slimy. It's not um, chewy. It's not hard to. It's not what eat. we imagine. <laughs> no, not at all. I Don't promise worry. you. I'm an adventurous eater. Okay, um, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, this is the extreme part here is that they're still in the in the shell, so. The one in the shell, I will uh, grab one stick to get them out. Oh, yeah, it's like but a special stick to. In eat the them. shell, when I cook them, so first I kill them. I get them. That sounds so brutal. Like, <laughs> no, them. I kill. I put. Oh, yeah, I will explain it to you later on. Uh, but when they are killed, I will get them out to clean the bad parts. Yeah. Mm. So you won't eat the yeah, whole that's the, process. the whole snail. Okay. Uh, so it's not that disgusting. It's like gutting a fish almost, you just take yes. out the bad part. Yeah. Uh, totally. And I will put him back and put the butter on. Okay. So they are clean. I mean, okay. there is no um, bad parts. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. Here we go guys, let's try the snails. First we're gonna try this one, it's in like a little cookie kind of thing. Biscuit. But right in here is the little snail. Mmm. Mmm. C'est très bon. <laughs> oh man. It's like a, a muscle. It's just like a muscle. Like for, forget about like how the snail looks on the outside. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's a bit chewy. But not overly chewy. And the mix with the garlic. The butter give it a really good garlicky taste. The parsley adds in there as well. Wow, this is delicious. I can see why French people like this so much. Here is the French that has never tried My an escargot. My dad is not going to believe I'm eating that. Mm -hmm. Oh well, this is for... Daddy, for Faz's date. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad at all. Bah no. Bah, it's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. A bad butter will make the snail taste bad, bad yeah. oh so you need good butter yeah, yeah. good normandy uh, butter good, good, oh yeah <laughs> if you can it's good i'm okay. going for a round Thank two you. Uh, yeah man, really coming from you <laughs> <laughs> mm. all right so next we have to try 
Next. Are you gonna try the, the one in the shell sulfidator? <laughs> I did like already step two. Uh, so you take <laughs> one stick. Uh, you want to taste one big or one small first? Uh, Ladies first, sulfidator. No, no, go so first. You, I go. You take the All stick right. and you just grab the snail. Sorry for the. And then get it out. And voila. Eat it and try to. Drink the, the, get the, the garlic yeah. and but all right. Yeah, it's next level here. I'm going for the big one. <laughs> Always you go for the biggest one. So we're gonna put this little stick in there. Oh, oh, it's coming out. Mm -hmm. It's not alive anymore. No worries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and drink the juice. Oh, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so surprised that it's good. Mm. No, it's just like the one with the cookie, but. Just a snail, and I mean, you get the experience of taking him out of his ex home. <laughs> mm. no, it's really good. Same as the cookie, but minus the cookie. I love the crispiness of the you, cookie. You get more of the snail taste. How do you convince a French to eat something when they don't want to eat it? Just give them bread. <laughs> she has some bread here on the side, just in case she doesn't like the snail. Like that, I can like just eat that really fast. All right. So I really have to not think about how it looks like because, sure. oh my god, it's a real experience for me. I have to say, like, oh my god, how much tastes good? Something to you? That's what she said. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, you feel more the texture at the end. That's why I'm taking the bread part. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's not bad at all. It tastes really good, way but... better than what I saw now. So you, it tastes good, but like you just don't like feeling the snail. Yeah, it's more little... like the first bite is good because you feel the taste and it's not as chewy. But when you start to chew more, you start to feel more the texture. And you're like, if you're a bit like me, reluctant to eat things like that, you, you kind of swallow it. <laughs> but it's really good. Really not expecting this taste. Like, no. All right, guys. So there you have it. Do give these a try. If you're a bit hesitant, try the one with the cookie. Mm -hmm. Definitely the cookie. Definitely like the cookie. A lot. If you happen to be around Feckham Normandy, come and get them from over here. Farm Oscar Goats and it's just the authentic experience here. I mean, <laughs> this is legit. They literally just came out of the garden. He cleaned them himself and, <laughs> and his mix with the garlic butter, c'est très bon. Those right there are the apple trees. So the, the apple cider that he made came from those trees this guy grows everything anyway that's it guys hope you like this video hope you saw some new food here something unique and as always catch you on the next one Whoop.